Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the New York Giants and the Seattle Seahawks. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. Standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, there are a few cities finer on a clear afternoon than this one, and we have a picture-perfect clear afternoon. Heck, you can see all the way to Mount Rainier in the distance here at Century Link Field in Seattle. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New York Giants and the Seattle Seahawks. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has, and how the game flows through him. Well. Looking to throw on second down. Wilson, he's going to air one out. And got his man complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. Things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. From the gun, it's Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. He's got Lockett. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, how about the passing numbers so far in this first drive? Oh, no doubt about it. They're flinging it around pretty successfully. And look at the start. The confidence level that we see in him rising because he hit a few early. And how about the last one? The big shot right there. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go 20 points score? Give yourself, you give yourself a good chance. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. That thing so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. And this one incomplete. From the shotgun, Wilson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Dexter Lawrence with a big time sack. That's caught out wide by Stills. And he'll be taken down for a loss back at the three. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack, but that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. Pass play, second and three. Oh, they'll try the sweep. It's Lockett with it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one, it was run with great success. How about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move, and more and more guys who are a lot more mobile and can get out in front of that type of a play. And he's got some space here. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That one 
good for 30. Wilson, under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Wants that one back. Jason Myers on for the field goal. And Myers able to knock it through. And over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? He'll have a first down past the 40. As they finally wrangle him in at the 48. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. season as they are now on the board here in the first half. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play even when Here's Wilson from the downhill throw. Pressure comes and Wilson's going to go down. Especially against the big-body guys in the middle of this day, it's got to be priority one. Now it's Barkley, and they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first, second and 10. It's Barkley on the counter. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 13 yards, good for a giant first. He decided to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so. Right, third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And this one is right down Broadway. And that will not a now it's Wilson. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage on second down. That'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. They'll set up the screen. To oh, this is going to depend on... Wilson now to throw on third down. He lets it fly for Rocket. He's got a man complete. And all the way down. To throw again on second down. Wilson. Is on court. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf. As the first half is winding down. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early. Presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Prescott from the gun on third. It's hauled in by Shepard. And he will have first down yardage as he's blasted after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Now running again with Barkley. They get 11 back on most part. Not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room. Because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen. Let's take control right away. Yeah, he's done. After the penalty, it's Penny. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Rashad Penny, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL lost. From the gun on third down, Wilson rolling to his left. He may try and run for this. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll give him a new set of downs. On first down, Wilson rolling to his right. 
That's caught inside the 20. That one goes for 30 yards. Oh, it's second and a couple. Wilson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, the timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that for the existence. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. All right? So you got to go out and create some offense for us here. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And what else could go wrong at this point? This is going to be a defensive touchdown as they keep piling it on. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. And that's what they've done all game long. But you can't dwell on it, because then you will repeat it. And that's what you don't want to do. And all this is taken in one-handed. What a catch. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 17 yards to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works. Great leverage so he can get low and not get bowled over by offensive line. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on the play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. 17 leading here in the fourth. Here's Prescott. Wide open receiver complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. And Barkley will try to punch it in. Punch out the defender. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. And that's a loss of six. Prescott from the gun. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Now Zaire Jones in there to get it down. Now Prescott on fourth down. That is caught at the seven. And he will be brought down well, shy of the goal line. 13. Now Wilson down around his goal line. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Good. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. First down, Seattle on a pick. On third down, Wilson. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete. Try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. A great pick. Nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it, because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero. But we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back, get the yardage, and really help out your offense. The Seattle victory here for Seattle. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for the Seahawks, their winning ways continue as they get it up to 7-0. and And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Giants, they dipped to 2-5 now with the loss. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.